Jayashankar, can you tell me about your uh, total years of experience and uh, the skill sets that you are working, your current role in project, and also uh, the responsibilities that you are performing there? Yeah. So to talk to that. Hello. Ah, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. So total eight years of experience I have, and uh, uh, I started my career as a PHP developer. After that, I after two years I moved to Java. And um, currently, I'm working as a, uh, uh, as a backend developer and um, my, uh, experience in Java 8 and Spring Boot microservices. And mm -hmm. for the uh, database part, I worked on the MySQL and MSSQL. And for the uh, domain, I worked on the um, uh, education domain and uh, e-commerce domain and movie booking platform. And <clears throat> so for the GitHub tool, I worked on the Docker Kubernetes Jenkins Circle CI and uh, um uh, uh, jira and uh, git so um, in the current project uh, and uh, i have a role responsibility like i have to communicate with the client get the requirement in agile uh, uh -huh. in the sprint of the uh, for a week and <clears throat> we have to communicate with them and do development with the team uh, to distribute tasks for the team and uh, <clears throat> after development and we go to uh, go to the by the tester and uh, then it will come back to front end developer. So, in this project, we have integrated multiple payment gateway like just pay, Paytm, phone pay, MobiQuick, Airtel wallet, and <coughs> MasterCard integration of the payment gateway. And we have a multiple payment gateway, uh, multiple integration of like uh, Quicksilver for the gift card and TMDB and MovieWork for the movie related information. Mm -hmm. like that. So suppose that there are uh, one leaf actually, the toy fish, the car toys, and currently it is being processed by one method. Uh, suppose the toy method is there. Mm. I am passing the car toys. Okay. Mm. And for that purpose, what I did is I have written one for loop. Mm. And in that for loop, I am just performing the get 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 operation. That means toy dot get color, toy dot get price, toy dot get category, something like that. Mm. So what? My observation is that if I pass uh, the uh, elements starting from 100 to 5000 elements, it takes around 2 seconds to 5 seconds to process the entire list. Mm. But as soon as I increase the time from, uh, uh, sorry, number of elements from 5000 to 2 lakh elements, suppose, it takes around 10 minutes to process the entire list. Okay. So, I just want to understand how I can reduce the time period or how I can increase the processing performance of this particular application. You can use parallel stream in, in this case. Um, uh, uh, the uh, stream API is given one uh, uh, um, one to um, one method like you can use either stream or parallel stream. You can use parallel stream. In that case, your uh. <coughs> performance will be increased. Okay, so what is the difference between the stream and the parallel stream actually? Uh, the, the, the stream API is uh, run, it's like normal for loop, uh, uh, they are processing data uh, in single, but in uh, in parallel stream, uh, 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 work is divided into multiple threads and uh, all the uh, threads are processing parallelly. <coughs> Suppose that uh, I have one list, mm -hmm. event list, sorry, I'm having one class called as event class. Mm -hmm. And this class is actually having these properties like timestamp. Then uh, you have uh, event name, event type, okay, and so the last is the event source. Mm. There are a few other properties also, but these are the four primary properties of the event class. Here, okay. Mm. Now what I'm doing is event service is another class that I'm creating here, and the responsibility of this event service is to put or place event in memory. So what it, it will do, as soon as it receives the event, it will place all those events in memory mm -hmm. and store it in memory. So main requirement is that by default, I want to store all those events in memory Get in a sorted order. Come again, so, uh, by default? In a sorted order. Okay. Yeah. So how I can do this actually? Uh, you want to uniqueness also, right? Um, that can be more, but yeah, but it is in a you, can use, you can use tree set uh, uh, of the object, and uh -huh. uh, uh, by this way, you can uh, uh, store the um, data in the uh, sorted order.
Okay. Okay. No. Can you describe uh, or can you tell me in which case I can use the hash map and I can use the hash table? The difference. What is the difference between these two actually? Hash map and hash table. Hash map is store the data inside the key value pair and. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, it it does not uh, store any uh, like uh, it is uh, randomly you can put the data and it will uh, uh, store the data in the uh, with the help of the hash code will be generated for the key and mm -hmm. uh, key in the key value pair. But has 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 table uh, store the data in a sorted ma manner like you can uh, uh, perform some sorting inside that and mm -hmm. for for the storing the data. Okay. okay. You you use the microservices actually? Yeah. Okay. Now in the microservices, suppose I have created three microservices, like mm. uh, four microservices. Okay. In service mm. A, mm. is making a call to service B. Mm. Service B making call to service C. Mm. And service C is making call to service D. Right. What is happening is the service B is actually throwing one exception like 500 internal server. Okay. Okay, that is the error that I am getting. Hmm. Okay, so because of that, what is happening? The working of C, B, and A is getting impacted here. Right. But I don't want to affect the working of C, B, and A because of the error that I am getting in B. Hmm. So how I can do this? So in the case of exception. You can uh, handle like uh, in uh, in the uh, in the cache block. You can pass out like uh, some response means some default response. Like basically, in uh, if service is down, then you can use fault tolerance. But in the case of yeah, you are creating one payment. Uh, sorry, interface called as a payment. Hmm. And you have write you have written one class suppose public task card payment mm. that is implement I payment here okay okay so you have written suppose one more class something mm. like this card payment cash payment and check them. So at the rate rest controller, what are the public class payment controller? And in that one, what are you doing? You are creating the instance of I payment. Yeah. Private I payment I payment. So which instance of the I payment will get initialized here? In this create that event, um, a full term I am not able to remember, but uh, this uh, one term is there where you have to uh, uh, say the in, inside the controller that this is the instance of the uh, particular payment, means uh, card payment or cash payment or check payment. But yeah, but what will happen here actually? Suppose okay. but that you are, if I go with that one, whatever the thing that you are suggesting, hmm. but what will happen here? What does happen here actually? In this. Case, so how how does the spring will initialize the uh, these classes? Which instance will get created first? A B C B C A C B A. What what will happen? A B C will would be the sequence. Uh -huh. Now suppose that I have one class. Suppose I'm creating one REST controller, payment controller. And in that payment controller, what I'm doing is I'm creating one post method, post. Mm. And there I'm writing save the payment details. Okay. So public wide that I'm using here, mm. payment details I'm passing. And assume that I have one uh, method, sorry, already created like uh, event service dot save mm -hmm. details that I'm passing to that one. I'm passing details. Okay. So will it work successfully? 
to write a request para uh, request map mapping na no? inside the payment detail request mapping something like this request mapping, request mapping is already there actually okay. that mapping i'm i'm already performing here Okay, Jason. If you are passing some data, um, suppose mm -hmm. you are hitting some API, you have to pass some data uh, for the payment details, uh, uh, Pozo. So mm -hmm. that you need to annotate at the rate request for the no normal parameter key value appear in the uh, form. You have to uh, write like request. Hello. Um, hello. I'm not audible. Yeah, I'm audible. Yes, you are audible. So uh, okay. in the case of the normal parameter, you have to write it, annotate it like request param. Uh, uh, for the any uh, normal variable like if you are pa passing like um, uh, payment for the payment uh, payment id and booking id like that you have to pass that then you have to write re at the rate request param and for the modal you have to write like uh, at the rate request um, uh, at the re rate request um, modal i think would be the annotation before the payment detail means uh, before the uh, some any parameter um uh, suppose that i'm creating one list try part of put the name array list then i'm creating just when the size is 100 mm. and then i'm creating list try first size new array list here i'm not passing any parameter or here i'm not passing any size and uh, assume that all 100 positions are full. Okay. In this case, the uh, part, what I'm doing is I'm trying to add 101 element. Suppose mm -hmm. when I do dot add new toy, mm -hmm. and that too, here I'm doing it. This is my 101 element. Similar case with the burst toys also. What are the default capacities there? The default capacity is also put new toy. And which is the new element after uh, all default capacities are full. Okay. So this is new element. So what will happen here at line number seven? Will it allow me to add? Yeah, it will create new memory uh, in, and it will add the data inside there. Why it will create new memory actually? Sorry? Why it will create new memory actually? It's a property of array list that if uh, uh, some um, if a memory is uh, in the end up, it will create new memory. It means it, it will add memory inside the list. And what about this? This is also, and it will also allow to insert the element. Okay. Um, is it possible that i can use my own key uh, my own class as a key instead of string and integer in the map yeah you can write uh what i need to do for that actually i think i'm done from my side any any questions for me jack no okay uh nitish i'm dropping off and uh, yes yes sure. another no class yeah yeah thank you uh, so you can take it now. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Hi, Jay Shankar. Hi. Okay. So, uh, how much experience do you have in uh, front end side? In uh, particular, in, in React JS? Particularly, two years I have worked in the past company. Uh, I'm not uh, working right now, but I worked on the last company for the two years. Okay. So, when it was? Like two years back? Uh, no, no, four years back. Okay, okay. So you mostly have, uh, so uh, what work you have done there in the DFJS side? Uh, in the DFJS uh, side, I have done like, um, they have created some portal for the um, uh, uh, job seeker portal uh, for mm -hmm. the, uh, for the uh, um, employee, means the, uh, their HR give the link and they create their uh, own interface for the uh, implementation and one project also I have done on React is flight booking service, um, flight is, is keeper and in that uh, also I have to create uh, uh, UI means UI already created. I have to build some feature like for the uh, movie uh, sorry um, 
searching of the uh, flight data means uh, you can add the uh, start uh, get the start city list from the uh, and uh, in city list uh, 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 start journey start and journey in and uh, get the list of all the uh, uh, flight available and then book, booking uh, booking of that flight uh, api calling and so the listing what is, what is your role like you know, what what part you have uh, worked on so in like the, in the listing i have worked on the listing also and um, creating the um, um, means uh, uh, for the showing multiple information because there is multiple information i need to uh, show them so that work also i've done yeah so um, basically you have used the class based component at that yeah, time class, class component. so do you know about this uh, the newly introduced uh, the react hooks no i've not used the okay so like um, uh, if you need to pass some values to balance to uh, uh, child component hmm. so uh, how how you uh, I come pass to through prop, uh, props uh, and suppose uh, like a two sibling component hmm. and if you want to communicate between two sibling component then how how, how uh, we can achieve that uh, suppose uh, we have a component a that is a parent component hmm. and uh, that has a two uh, child component hmm. b and c okay so uh, uh, i want that i i should some uh, I, uh, I should pass some data from b to c then how how we can achieve that both b and c are both, both, and both and uh, suppose uh, in b you are updating some data uh, so uh, after updating it will pass to the parent component and set inside the state of the parent component and through parent component you can pass that to uh, b and c also Means okay, so how, how, we, how we can that uh, achieve that um, update the state and uh, you have to pa pass inside the uh, through the props and uh, um, then um, uh, we are uh, reducer was there uh, where we are updating the data inside the reducer and uh, through reducer i can uh, access that component also so that is a part of the redux if yeah. we don't want to use uh, redux then how we can achieve that do you have any idea about that no i i am was passing only from the parent to child not inside the uh, okay, okay, no. yeah. so like uh, can you uh, list down some key benefits of using react js because it is using virtual dom so uh, when you updating some data inside the uh, uh, apart from the suppose you are using normal uh, HTML and JavaScript, so all DOM uh, uh, when you are updating something, all DOM uh, DOM need to be updated. So uh, as React is using virtual DOM, so uh, only that data uh, is going to be updated uh, uh, that you have changed. Suppose you have a list of user and you are updating something inside the list of user. Only particular um, particular uh, th uh, particular component is only updated not all the components it means it will update only one component okay use that uh, uh, data suppose you have a user list and you need uh, that user list on another um, place so you can use directly that uh, reducer um, uh, means that uh, list to render something uh, uh, to a, any other uh, uh, place also okay. so every time you don't need to call api to get the data mm -hmm. Got you. Uh, I, uh, so i think i'm done from my side do you have any question for uh, me mm, no okay then uh, hr will get back to you okay okay, okay. okay. Th thanks for joining and have, uh, having your time Thank okay you.